ZL Entertainment. Greetings, boys and girls. I am Jack Dion from Zeo Entertainment, and today we are here for another session of Back to the Future, the game. So let's see what we have going on here for us. Left off uh, with a... Uh, Kind of a cliffhanger as they do showing little snippets of what's to come. There we go. Waking up. That's a good sign. Sure you do. Well then. Citizen Brown. That's Doc all right, but what the heck's going on here? Yeah. What the heck indeed. Don't worry everybody. I'm okay. The Billboard broke my fall. Funny. Delinquent rocker chick. Anything else we can uh, look at? Billboard, car. This is the dumbest design ever. Uh, hello? She can't hear me. Yeah, you didn't even scream. I gotta get out of this death trap. Uh-huh. So, we have the horn. I don't think that's gonna work very well. Oh, I guess it does. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a... Jennifer? It's already open. It's jammed. Alright. Horn. Door. Jennifer. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Yeah, it's a DeLorean. Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? <laughs> so who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Oh, what's the date? Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just... What's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Ah, uh, you changed. Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? 
Your clothes are different. What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. <laughs> What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. Oh, and by the way, I've heard that the uh, original Jennifer who played in the first movie is actually doing the voice for the Jennifer here. That's what I've heard anyway, so I'm not sure if that's true. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? <laughs> I'm guessing you won the argument. <laughs> Never mind, I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? The door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. Uh, do you have anything useful? You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, Macaulay. What do you give me for it? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Ugh. Oh. Jennifer, please. This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> All right, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Okay. Jennifer! What? All right, let me think this. Don't stress. What do we have to work f with? Billboard. It kind of creeps me out. Yeah. Uh, talking to her is uh, kind of useless right now. I get out of this death trap. Indeed. So let's. Uh, maybe she'll want the clock. Or we have something in our inventory still, maybe. Oh, she probably won't want that. Whoops, hit the right click button instead of the left. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Ugh. Smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never dig such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? <laughs> Jesus, could this get any worse? Probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa!
Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. Yeah, I doubt that. Well then, let's check out the wrecked DeLorean some more. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... Well, that's not good. Anything else on it, or is that... Man, this is the second time I've completely destroyed Doc's time machine. I just shouldn't be allowed to drive it anymore. Probably. What's with the wall? These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Probably. Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi. Can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the North Gate. Oh. North Gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another way. How the hell do you get through these? Back at the DeLorean, so obviously there's something there that we need. I don't think that's gonna buff out. I hope there's something salvageable here. Uh, I guess I have to look. Uh, I really hate that it's not. It's it's it just feels weird, you know. Ah, Mr. Fusion. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. But I was saying I really hate how you can't really, like, walk around properly, you know? There's a lot of, uh, invisible walls. It's kind of annoying. said something about salvaging anything, but you can't really walk closer to it. Ah, if I only had my hoverboard, or something like it. I uh, can't get to the door. Oh, wait. Battery. 12 volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. And as you guys probably all saw, it panned over to a certain something. Also known as the wheel, which it just hovered over for me. The wheel must have been running off the battery. The wheel must have been running off the battery. Here we go. Yeah, some of these puzzles are just so easy to figure out. Like, even though it's blind, it's just so easy. You know? Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. It's not that difficult. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Indeed. Thought we were going to pick it up, but I guess we'll just connect these two together. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! Oh! Far out. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Yeah, I have a very bad feeling about this one, but that's cool. I'm sure it'll be entertaining. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. That's a bit creepy. Hill Valley Bureau of Discipline. Yeah, talk about dystopian. Classic scene. Soup Mo? I'm sure there's more to it, but I can't see the rest. It's so, so clean. Good morning, citizen. And good morning to you too, citizen. Huh. What's going on here, Doc? statues. Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID, in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up, spread your legs. Hey, wh what are you doing? Quiet, hold still. Hmm, nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Huh. <laughs> Since when were you a cop? Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great. I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. What happened to Jennifer? Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Uh, what's with the pat-down? Hey, what's with the pat-down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts? Is illegal? Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. <laughs> Heavy. Well then, good day. I gotta finish my beat. Are you gonna make trouble for me today? No. <laughs> no. no what? No, sir.